Hey everybody, this is Moon. Welcome to my channel. So I thought I would bring you another um, past life reading. I like these. They're fun. Thank you so much for stopping by and just hit like and subscribe below. It's free. You can turn off your notifications. If you have any other ideas, put them in the comments below. All right. Anyways, let's get started. We have group one, group two, group three. All right, group one. Behold and strong, for you are the creator of your own destiny. Look within and you'll find everything you need there. But burst forth from your cocoon and fly. The sky is the limit. If you follow your heart and your own inner guidance, listen to what others say, but don't be blindly. Follow their advice. You could follow somebody wise, maybe somebody wise. All right, group one. We're gonna take a look at your past lives. The common era of zero to 550 AD. The location is the British Isles and Western Africa. There's different groups, okay? So some was in British Isles and some in West Africa. And the details. Herbologist, homeopathy, hermit, um, woodman, elemental, maybe somebody who worked outside. There's a lot of people that, um, there's a lot of herbal gardens in British Isles, I think. That could be connected with that. And then upper class, luxury, big events, property, family, money, Western Africa. Maybe you were rich in Africa. Some of you died in a natural disaster, could have been a fire, a tidal wave, or an earthquake. And for some of you, died from an illness or a disease, infection, maybe that could have been in Africa or something. And then the effects are allergies, scars, birthmarks, fear of people touching you, and you have a unique feature, maybe something unique about your feature, or they do. These can be reverse roles, this can be the person you like or this can be you or somebody you even know your healing is the tailbone something about the root chakra um, remove and release financial fear worry fear of rejection and exposure obsession embrace and align to trust faith inner peace grounding, 
the connection to earth, creating a safer place for the self. Your mantra is, trust that I know how to make myself feel safe. Oh wow. Your fortune reading card is cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Like firecrackers. You tarot is King of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Judgment. Somebody has lots of love here. The cup runneth over. It's so full of love. This is like the perfect relationship. He loves you so much. He loves to play with your hair. Maybe you love to play with his hair. The Ace of Cups. This is a love of a lifetime. You've been chosen. This is a divine connection. You've both been chosen to be together. There's so much love here. So beautiful, so much emotions. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Something about butterflies. Maybe when you see a butterfly, they're watching over you. Guardian of emotions. See a lot of emotions here, a lot of water energy. This could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A lot of water energy. Could be in your charts too. Guardian of emotion. This situation requires emotional maturity, total trust. You're surrounded by those who have only the best intentions. So you can rely on the advice you're given. Challenges will be resolved. This card also indicates a generous, humanitarian, and refined person whom you can completely depend on. This could be a reference to those characteristics within yourself. It's kind of like the firecracker card. New love. This water sign or this person that wants to offer you the cup of love. This is this could be a new love. A new person has steered your romantic feelings. Something about 1111 or 111. If you see that all the time, that's a good sign. You are a magical creator. Your thoughts are beginning to manifest. Maybe you're manifesting this new love into your life. Sweetness. Patience is now required. Relax. Enjoy the sweetness of life. Let the universe take care of the details. Beautiful group one. Your fortune, your fortune heart is. You will move in together. 
Maybe this new love interest that you meet, this is the one and you will move in together. For some of you, you will move in together. All right. For those of you that chose group two, here we go. It's me, I just woke up, you guys. I'm like, I gotta do this reading. All right, your past life, or past lives, was in the Victorian era, 18 to 1900s. just read your heart man mantra hold on sorry old feelings are resurfacing again you find yourself on an emotional roller coaster don't fight it instead allow these feelings to surface without judging them they are neither good nor bad they are simply a part of you. Own them, embrace them, and love them. Bless the past and be grateful for the deep and profound healing that is taking place. Something with your chakras, maybe you need to get a chakra balancing. Okay, so back to your past life or lives. Yeah, I picked a, chose a few here, so we got different groups. Um, the Victorian era, 18 to 1900s. For some of you, this was in Northern Asia. Northern Asia. And for some of you, we're in the city center population, civilization, town, um, marketplace. Maybe you lived like somewhere where there's a marketplace, city center, like in the middle of the city. Town, marketplace. The detail was entertainment, jester, town fool, spotlight, performer. Certainly. Maybe you were a performer in the city center or the marketplace downtown or something. That's what I'm getting. And the other details are royalty, leader, privilege, high importance. For some of you are famous. You could have been both. You could have been famous and popular in the market city or you could have been famous in Northern Asia. Maybe some of you are like one of those Japanese dancers. They put, not the geishas, there's bo, bo, Bokiko or something. They wear makeup and they sing in the theater. They're men, they dress like women, but it's just a theater thing they do. And some of you are an actor or town gesture. You're pretty popular. Your death was natural causes, old age, heart attack or stroke. And then some of you died in an accident, injury, unintentionally. 
for some of you was an accident of some sort. The effects, no fear, test limits, risks, adventure, no remorse, regret. You seek thrills, you're a thrill seeker, maybe a risk taker. It's from your past life, being the gesture or the actor you were. We're missing a healing card here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull your healing card. Sorry about that. Your healing card is use your current lessons, struggles, and challenges to identify what still needs healing. Trust your intuition as to how how to best you. Let me see. Trust your intuition best you can feel this past life. You are embracing, receive the signs. As to how best you can heal this past life. So that's telling you to trust your feelings about how you can go about healing yourself in that past life. Your fortune is, your fortune card is proposal. A proposal, a romantic or business opportunity is indicated. So maybe you're gonna get a proposal or a job proposal or proposal from your loved one. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. It could be your job or a proposal from your loved one. All right, your sexual tarot is Knave of Pentacles. Four of Swords, the Lovers. Look at how he's just pouring that wine down your mouth. He's holding you. He has a love offer. He's handing you his cup of love. Maybe he's gonna propose to you. Maybe you're gonna go out to a nice dinner and drink wine and he's gonna propose to you. He's trying to open your mouth. Maybe he likes to stick his finger in your mouth when you're having sex or when you're making love. The lovers. You two are lovers. Very tight relationship. He likes to. You know, some guys, when they're making love to you, they just stick their finger in your mouth, or they just do it for fun. He liked to sit on his lap. 
sexy. So I'm seeing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, maybe some air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This relationship is, he's gonna make a love offer for you. You guys look like you're really in love. Maybe you're gonna propose or he's gonna propose to you. Beautiful. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life. Create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. It's kind of another chakra balancing. Maybe some of you need to get your chakras balanced. Let's see. They're kind of similar it's to be grounded and connect with nature. Do some chakra balancing. Beautiful. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. You just need to let go of the past so that this person could come in and make that proposal to you. Surrender. Surrender. Just let go of the old. Make way for the new so this person could come in and make a proposal. Or new job it could be a romantic partnership or a new job see letting go releasing the past can seem like a challenge but it can also be liberating your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before endings always herald new beginnings Choose to allow this situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. Something about releasing the past. Let go. All those things that you have that aren't serving you, just let it go. You just got to let it go so that this new person could come in or this new job. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. See, another release, the past. I was trying to tell you something. We got almost three or four cards saying that. Something about the past, just let it go. Maybe you just need to let it go. Maybe something's bothering you. You just need to let it go. Just get balanced and heal yourself. Diamond, a promise. Here we go. Another ring card. Diamond, a promise. For some of you, we'll be getting a proposal and a ring. See? Something about a promise. Somebody's lucky there. Just let go of the past. Let this new come in. New person. Something about making music. Or sitting in first class. Making or sharing sweet music is what harmonizes this love. There's something about music you guys like to share. You guys share each other's favorite songs, or you both like the same music, or whenever you hear a song, you think of them, or whenever they hear a song, they think of you. 
beautiful group too, so beautiful. And your fortune card is marriage ahead. Wow. There is going to be a proposal here for some of you. Somebody is going to get a beautiful ring or a ring or a diamond ring. Maybe you guys will get married soon. Or maybe you'll get engaged soon. Beautiful group two. All right, group three. If you have chosen group three, this is your reading. Group three, let's get your heart. Every relationship goes through changes, but this does not mean that love has gone. Let this be a time of reflection. Some adjustments may be needed. Perhaps a new purpose needs to be discovered. Maybe you have some kind of talent you don't know you have and you need to do some like art or music or paint or something. New purpose needs to be discovered. It may feel cold and lonely, but beneath the surface, the earth is warming to the promise of spring. And meanwhile, express how you feel gently, lovingly, and honestly. Let yourselves be vulnerable and hold each other tight. Maybe you guys have a name on the tree. You wrote your name on a tree together. Or you guys have your favorite tree. There's a place where there's trees. I'm seeing trees with hearts on them. All right, group three, your past lives. We're in the era. Renaissance, 19, oh wait, Renaissance is 14 to 1600s. Goes with this music kind of. Kind of goes with the music. And the location was Pacific Islands. There you go, maybe some of you are from Guam or from Hawaii the Pacific Islands. I'm getting Guam really strongly or Hawaii. Some of you are a Pacific Islander or maybe you are a Pacific Islander and your roots go way back to Guam or Hawaii. Wow. And for some of you, Mountains, forests, and valleys, rivers and streams. Maybe there's waterfalls, valleys, or little mountains there in the Pacific Islands. I mean, a lot of islands have mountains, little mountains in them, with rivers and streams. Or for some of you, it was in the Pacific Island. And for some of you, it was in the mountains in the USA or something. And for some of you, let's see the detail. Maybe you were a police, military, guardian, town hall, senate, decision maker like in Guam there's an ancient where all the law stuff is and the lawyers and courthouse that's been there since ancient times like even the chiefs were lawyers and decision makers and or it could be for some of you were in the military and you went to Guam and you were in the war of the Pacific you could have been in the war in the Pacific, or you could have just lived there in Guam while the war in the Pacific was going on. But for some of you, it's way back. 
in the 1400s. Maybe you were a chief of Guam. They had a lot of chiefs. And then for some of you, um, we're in the military. Decision maker back in, some of you were a decision maker back in the Renaissance. So I'm getting really strongly like the war in the Pacific, Guam and Hawaii. They always had those leaders and kings or queens and Senate, Senate in Guam. I'm getting that even since the chief days where they had rulers back then, they had um, law and, you know, in the town hall. And that place still exists there in Guam. Now it's where all the lawyers are. But I mean, it's been there forever since back in the day when they had chief rulers and it's a beautiful tropical island. So somebody was in the police. You could be a police officer now and you can be living in Guam. You could be from Guam. And some of you are in the Senate in Guam, but some of you were in the military in the war of the Pacific. And some of you lived in the mountains in the United States, maybe California. Political law, see detailed, political law, government, ruler and judge. Somebody very powerful here. Like for some of you it was, you were in the military, but I'm getting a lot of uh, a ruler like in Guam or Hawaii. And some of you were a judge, very powerful person, very powerful. Your death was by the hand of others, murder, unjust causes. Could have been the war of the Pacific where the Japanese came and invaded Guam. They would slaughter all the big people because they were scared of them. They didn't want them to get um, attack them. So they would take all the big people or this could have been a chief slaughtered or somebody that made a decision in law, like a per persecution and then they got killed for it. Somebody either died in the war in the Pacific that lived in Guam or they were a soldier that died or they were a chief that was a lawmaker or something and they got killed by the person that they persecuted. So I'm just getting three different things here. And another death was a fall and impact, broken bones, hemorrhage. Like for some of you that lived in the mountains, maybe you did a lot of mountain climbing and you fell off the mountains. Or you're walking in the valleys and like the stones fall down from the mountains. How the big, big boulders like roll down. And maybe one of you are hit with the boulder. And then for some of you fell off the mountain. Something about broken bones and an impact. And then the effects. Something about fairness, maybe that was to do with your past life about being a lawyer, like justice, you know, fairness. Um, something about justice too, pay attention. Rule follower, routine, strict expectations, fights for justice. See, this probably has to do with your past life, being in the law or the military or being a ruler. 
So you carried that into your previous life. Your healing is sacral chakra and all joints, your hips. Maybe from that when you broke your bones, something in the past life when you got hurt by that impact or something. Remove and release, delay, caution. Inability, lack of commitment. Some of you are maybe lack of commitment. Maybe somebody's non-committal. Embrace and in line. And adaptability. Balance your inner masculine and feminine energies. Easygoing attitude. Simple solutions. The path of least resistance. Your affirmation and your mantra is allow with, oh wait, wait. I flow with the universe. I flow with the universal energy, trusting in my divine path. This is your mantra. I flow with the universal energy trusting in my divine path trust and have faith plane trip a journey is indicated either physically or metaphysically or metaphorically your life will become more full. Maybe somebody, maybe you're going back to Guam to visit your family or Hawaii. Or maybe they're gonna come see you. Somebody's gonna go on a trip. A journey is indicated physically or metaphorically. Maybe this is a euphoric journey of love. It was sent from the cosmic heavens above, this love. It's a metaphoric love. It's cosmic, sacred. Ten of Cups. See a lot of cup energy, water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Five of Wands. There's a lot of competition here, maybe for you or for them. Somebody's jealous. Look, they're peeping. He's all peeping. It's competition here, either for you or for him, or somebody's jealous. Queen of Wands. Something about him telling you to take off your shoes. He wants to see your feet. He likes to play with your feet. Could be a Leo with a foot fetish. Or one of you have a foot fetish, or you both do. He's like, show me your feet feet. She's like taking her time. Show me your feet. I want to see your feet. This is the guy from the, the hermit card too. He's from the Virgo card. Maybe somebody's a Virgo here. I see Leo water signs. I see fire and water. a lot of competition or somebody's competing for you or they're competing for him but he loves you 
your wish fulfillment, your happiness. This is like the perfect Ten of Cups. New cycles and beginnings to beautiful. Something about the feet. Oh, there we go, twin flames. Your passion ignites. This is a twin flame relationship or it could be a soulmate, but most likely a twin flame because we've got a lot of fire and water. Usually the twin flames, some of them are fiery and watery. My beloved, Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So maybe because this is a twin flame, um, somebody's getting out of a relationship or something and maybe you guys are separated. Somebody's jealous, they want this relationship. It's gonna happen. There's a lot of competition. Or maybe you feel like there's a lot of competition. Or he feels like you're so beautiful. God, everybody's gonna want her. And that's why he's not coming forward. Because sometimes that's how they feel like. They think you're so beautiful that you're not good enough for them but they look the same, like they're so cute. You think they're not good enough for you, but you both feel the same. That's just how twin flames roll, you know? Four of action, there you go, four of wands. Four of wands. Four of action. Your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety, contentment, and financial security. You deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you've created. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event, such as an engagement, a wedding, buying a new home, or the birth of a child. For some of you, maybe you're going to have a baby. Um, maybe you're going to go to a wedding together or maybe you're going to be married. I mean, this could be connected with reading number two, like group two. I mean, take all these as it resonates. They could be reverse roles. Um, any reading could be there's a message in here for everybody, so, but what I'm getting here is something like a wonderful event. You could be buying a home together, or maybe he got you pregnant, or you got her pregnant, but that's the four of wands, 11-11, twin flames. True love. This is a romance. Wait. This is the romance of a lifetime. True love. Something about brown. The color brown. Maybe his hair is brown or your hair is brown. Grounding, stability, and foundation. It's kind of like the Four of Wands, stability, foundation, a new foundation, stability. That's a love of a lifetime. Don't feel like there's competition. That's just how you feel, but just let go of attachments and this will all come together. Time. There you go. Definitely twin flames. Divine time is bringing you together. 
Love that is true has no time limit. You could be separated, but you still love each other, no matter what. The strong, of course, twin flames are unseparatable. No matter how far you are apart, you still love each other. You always communicate with this person. They communicate with you. And your fortune heart is a pleasant surprise is on its way. See, there you go, a pleasant surprise. Beautiful reading, you guys. I hope you liked your um, choices. Like I said, there's a message in here for somebody. They can all be connected or they can be different messages. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, I love you guys. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Hit like and subscribe and I'll see you again. Bye-bye, I love you.